So I'm in the middle of a forest that's being actively managed for timber and check out this incredible old growth Douglas fir we've got right in the middle of all of it. Thankfully though, this tree isn't at risk of being felled anytime soon because I'm at Wildwood, which is a demonstration eco-forest on Vancouver Island that has been operating for nearly 80 years managing these forests for not only timber values, but for ecological, biological, social, cultural, and spiritual values. So while this tree has an incredibly high economic value, it has an even higher ecological value and thus remains standing as part of this forest ecosystem. In a similar manner, there are some really amazing two to 300 year old Western red cedars down that way that have really high economic values, but an even higher cultural value to local indigenous communities so they remain standing. There's a standing dead snag over that way that has moderately high economic value, but an even higher biological value as it's habitat for all sorts of critters, insects, fungi, and moss, so it remains standing. Instead, trees that are overcrowded or being shaded out or beginning to show signs of decay or rot or ones that fall into windstorm and thus have less value in all those other categories, but still a reasonable economic value are selected for harvest. By shifting the way we manage these forests to include values other than timber, we fundamentally change our relationship to them, allowing them to maintain their diversity and complexity for the overall benefit to each of us who have a stake in our collective future, not just those who have shares invested in some faceless resource extraction company focused on short-term economic gains. And ironically, by doing it this way, Wildwood has actually made more economic returns in the long term than had it all been clear cut and sold 80 years ago when the land was first acquired, all while maintaining this healthy old growth forest. Places like this demonstrate the paradigm shift we need to reimagine our forest industry to create a better future for us all, and it all starts by valuing these forests as more than just an economic resource.